Мы продолжаем передачу вместо встречи. Um, Christian, and based on everything that you're telling me, it really sounds like this is a guy's watch. I mean, it's a manly man's watch. It's a watch for somebody, you know, who's free-spirited, who is out there in the sea chasing adventure, you know, o- almost like a choice, a pirate's watch, a watch of choice. <laughs> am, I, am I getting you right? It's correct. Um, about um, 70% of people buying our watches um, are men. Right. But recently we invested in a beautiful new um, ladies collection. So I um, invite you to have a look at our website to, di- to discover our new uh, ladies timepieces which are really nice. Wow, so, so, but I, I'm, I'm sure it's for tough ladies as well. <laughs> it's for tough ladies. <laughs> tough ladies, there you go. So, so it's a tough brand. I mean, it's great. So th- there is really a personality that comes with the watch. Yes. That th- th- this watch is really supposed to reflect a certain kind of personality, like any good brand should. Yes, right. I, I absolutely agree. You know, when you wear an Edox watch, and I really mean this, mm-hmm. and when you put it on your wrist, and when you go to a restaurant, or uh, to the movies, or even uh, at the place where you work, people will talk about your watch. Because our watches, they have a special look and people notice this special look. So um, this is a talking piece. When you have an Edox watch on your wrist, you might meet um, people you don't know because they want to talk to you As a conversation reg- regarding starter. your uh, <laughs> your watch. This I is like amazing. I like this that. This is amazing. <laughs> I like that. Uh, let me ask you something else. Uh, since it's a guy's watch, so I'm going to ask you a guy-to-guy advice. Uh, How does one shop for a high-end watch? Like, what are the things to look for? Because for somebody who doesn't know about it, let's say this is the, the only first expensive watch that they're getting into, uh, what are you looking for? So first of all, I think you should look for a real watch, for a real Swiss-made watch. And secondly, you should look for a company which has a history in watchmaking and for a company which focuses on watchmaking. There are many companies around, they recently started also to produce watches. Mm -hmm. But uh, I recommend to buy a watch from a real traditional Swiss um, watch manufacturer. Now, what's the difference between Swiss watches and other watches? You know, to to be able to to say that a watch is uh, Swiss made, you have to um, fulfill and respect a couple of um, criterias. The most important criteria is that the movement which is inside the watch is fully Swiss made and fully assembled in, uh, in Switzerland. Wow. So, so that ensures I guess the quality control that stays right there. You don't have to deal with parts manufactured in places with cheaper labor, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Got it. What about any other advice for people buying watches? Then, of course, it depends for what kind of um, things you need you watch. Do you need the watch uh, for uh, sporty activities or do you need the watch rather for for your business or do you need the watch uh, to, um, to go out in the evening? So it depends on the on the use of the watch. So when you need, uh, for example, a watch for for an elegant dinner, I recommend to buy a a rather uh, elegant timepiece, maybe even a a slim slim timepiece, which is comfortable um, to wear. But when you are rather a sporty um, guy, then I recommend you to to buy a watch um, which is water resistant, like our class one watches, for example, or the Grand Ocean uh, collection. Mm -hmm. When you are a guy who likes uh, everything about timekeeping, then I recommend, for example, uh, a watch with a stop and and go function. So first of all, you have to think about for what do I need my my timepiece. Okay, and uh, what's the lifetime, if I can say that? What's the lifetime on this watch? It always depends on you. You know, you have to treat uh, a watch Um, gently Mm -hmm. and if you take care of it you can wear a mechanical watch nowadays um, 20 25 30 years how does one take care of watches uh, of mechanical watches 
You know, a, a mechanical watch should be maintained um, about um, every fifth year. Every fifth year you have to um, bring it to the watchmaker and then the watchmaker has to, uh, to clean it, to, uh, to oil the, the wheels, to, um, to readjust um, the time setting. So when you do this regularly, you can uh, wear a mechanical watch for, um, for ages. That's very interesting. And how much do these watches retail for in the United States? I mean, they look really good. Mm -hmm. So the average um, price range of an EDOX watch in the United States it is between 1,000 up to about 10,000 uh, US dollars. That, that's not including special collection watches, is that correct? No, it includes special um, collection watches. The main, the main price range or the key price range mm -hmm. is between uh, 1,000 and about uh, 5,000 US dollars. Okay, and where are they sold uh, here in the US? So you can buy um, an EDOX watch um, at different retailers, uh, for example here in, uh, in New York. Um, what I recommend uh, people is to visit our website edox.ch and there you can find um, all retailers selling our watches in the United States. Christian, thank you so much for coming out on the show and thank you for educating us about this. And uh, we, we hope to see more of you and we hope to see more, uh, more about these great watches. Дорогие зрители, спасибо большое и помните, время деньги.